Thousands of athletes, or triathletes should we say, are taking advantage of today's great weather to sweat it out at the Ironman Arizona race here in the Valley. And it's all happening right now in Tempe. That's where we find Team 12's Jess Winters once again this morning. Woo, are you out of breath? So out of breath. I already finished. I actually won <laughs> the race, Trisha, actually. And if you've been watching all morning today in AZ, you've seen us over by the bicyclists. Now we're over by the runners. This is Ironman Village right at Tempe Beach Park. We have people changing into their different gear behind us because, of course, they need different gear for each event. We got biking, we got swimming, we got running. And all morning I've been talking to some families out here supporting their loved ones, and I'm gravitating toward people who made T-shirts. Ooh, dance it out for your support group. <laughs> okay, who are you out here? cheering on. We are out here to, to support my fiance, Dan, who is doing his uh, half Ironman. He did the full Ironman in June and will be doing Oceanside in two weeks. So he's dedicated and committed and we're supporting. Yes, yes, absolutely. So this isn't his first go around. No, he's done two full Ironman and several half before this as well. Wow. Is he going to do the full Ironman come November 21st? Uh, he's not planned for that. He's just trying to qualify for uh, the Worlds. Okay. Which one is he participating in right now? Did you just see him? Running right he's now. running. He just took off for the run. Yes. Did he give you a wave, a smile, anything? He, well, he said he said he's, he's, he's a little sore. Yes. He's blowing <laughs> kisses. Understandably he's so. Tough. <laughs> Are you tracking him on your phone? Absolutely. Yeah. The whole way. Taking lots of pictures, lots of videos. What's the celebration going to be like tonight? Because he deserves something well, after. We're going to karaoke. karaoke. We're going to the bar. Yeah. We're going to the yeah. Phoenix karaoke bar tonight. Yeah, for it's, Dan. And it's Iron Dan. Hey, Dan. Iron Dan. Yeah. Is that an Iron Man? I get it. Iron, Iron Dan. Man. He's my hero. Oh, there we go. There we go. Is, there, is there a meal he has in mind? I think after this, I would just want a big like plate of pasta. Carbs. That's yeah. what he needs. He's starving. <laughs> All the carbs in the world. Yeah. What time do you expect to be out here until today? We're hoping he'll finish by 11.30 or 12. 11.30 so, or 12? 11.30 or 12, we're beating the heat. Yes. Wow. Well, yeah. thank you all so much. Y'all are great. I'll let you cheer on Dan. Bye. Iron Dan. Yeah. <laughs> And just to give you a reference point of how impressive that is to finish up around 12, this started at 6.30, and we're talking about 13 miles of running, 56 miles of biking, 1.2 miles of swimming, so that's intense. The event is supposed to wrap up around 4 p.m. with an award ceremony, but the traffic and the parking will probably be a problem until around 6 p.m., so the city of Tempe is encouraging you if you cannot drive and take the light rail or public transportation like the bus. We are live in Tempe. Jess Winters today in AZ. Trisha. I think the hardest part for me would be the running after biking, yeah. after exerting myself. Then, oh, what about you? <laughs> I know. Well, I did a women's half marathon once, and my calves were like rubber bands. <laughs> but that being said, <laughs> uh, yeah, I would definitely have to be uh, toward the tail end of the bunch. <laughs> but hey, we can mm -hmm. all train. We can, tra we can train for world right now. <laughs> Let's yeah. get after it. <laughs> right now. Why not? All right, Jess, <laughs> thank you.